and welcome to my channel and this is part 4 video in mastering Hyper-V on Windows Server tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install Hyper-V server role on Windows Server Core Machine. So Core Machine is basically a machine which does not has a, a GUI in, by default installed. So Microsoft does provide core operating system also which has less footprint or less attack surface uh, because it's a uh, purely command prompt. It does not have all the GUI and all the extra feature or you can say extra thing which can be you know by default available on the full fledged uh, GUI machine. So it has very limited commands to it which can be executed, limited features which can be installed and all those things. So we'll see how to install a Hyper-V role uh, on the uh, core machine. So in this demo environment, what I got, I got the same domain controller and uh, this is going to be a new virtual machine which I'm going to create as a Hyper-V Hyper -V core. And then we are going to uh, rename this machine, join in domain and all the same uh, same step which we followed in last video. So these are the two machine Hyper-V1 and Hyper-V2 which we created in last video. So now I'm going to create a brand new machine. So again, this is going to be same step. If you are following physical machine, the installation method is going to remain same. The only thing, uh, since I'm doing this on virtual machine, so I'm going to install these, create this virtual machine. So next, and then click drive, then click on finish. And then I'm going to do the configuration for CPU and memory. So 32 gig core course and then Intel VT technology I'm going to click mark and I'm going to map the ISO for Windows Server 2022 Server 2022 here it's all and then I'm going on host 3 remove remove and all set now I will go ahead and power in this machine So booting the machine. Then click on next. So and then here what we need to select, we don't need to select the desktop experience. Means if you don't select the desktop experience operating system it will install basically in cli or you can say the server core so i'm going to select standard and then click next i accept the terms click next custom and click next so the installation is going to be state forever same as you do installation for other operating system the only difference what we selected here to install a core operating system or core window server you need to uh, basically select the option which does not have desktop experience but yes later on if you install core operating system and you want to convert that core operating system or cli operating system to you know full-fledged gui you can do it later on also you just need to install the this basically feature which is called desktop experience and once you install the desktop experience feature, your uh, core core system, core server will be converted to GUI post reboot. So yes, uh, there is an option to convert core machine in full GUI mode. But here, what we are going to do, we are going to run core operating system with command prompt and PowerShell command. So we are going to basically play around the uh, command prompt and all. So we'll see how to configure these machines. So the installation is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause recording here. Once the installation is done, I'll resume from there. When it's completed, it's asking uh, the administrator password must be changed. So I'm going to change my administrator password. So the password has been changed. So click OK. Now it's applying user settings. So you will see few options there by default which is going to come here so s config is loading so basically s config is a tool which has this uh, uh, 
option where you can by default going to be uh, land and then you can configure your machine so let's say if you uh, went to some command prompt exit to and you want to go and uh, as config again you can put as config it will bring you here again so what we need to do the very first thing this we need to follow the same procedure so we need to go and set up the network so i'm going to set up my network first so click on here you will see network setting 8 so i'm going to click 8 and enter then you see this taken some ip address from dlcp so i'm going to set the static ip address so here i'll go ahead and set the network adapter address so i'll go ahead and click one and it's asking static so i'll put s as a static and then put the address so enter the static address so 192.168.1.103 and then it will ask for the submit mask so i'll put the submit mask enter and then it's asking gateway so i'll put the gateway we are done now what we need to do here we need to go again in network settings and click one and then we need to select the dns so if i select here to set dns server and then the preferred dns 192 168 1.100 which is my directory and domain server and secondary is going to be my alternative dns which is my gateway so this is good so we have configured the IP address and gateway. Now what I'll do, I'll change the computer name. So press two, two, enter, and then select the computer name. So I'll go to call it Hyper-V, core, enter. Then it's asking you want to restart. Yes, I want to restart to take the host name changes affected. So, so it will apply the host, host name and then it will reboot the machine and out. So we are almost there now what we need to do we need to basically join this server in domain we'll see how to join this server in domain so you'll see here control press control to del so i'll press control to del now it's asking password so i'll put my password so it will wait for some time to load launch the s config so it's loading now so we are good now you see the host name is configured and all good if if you click on create again you will see the ip address is also changed so we are good so i'll go ahead and change the domain name so i'll join machine domain so press one enter then it's asking d for domain and it's asking domain name so i'm going to put labs and so on dot lan and then i need to put password so labs and so on slash administrator is my account and then a password for this account so it seems password is incorrect so i'll go ahead and try again so one and d and and so on dot lamp and let's and so on slash administrator and then password for this account yes so successfully joined domain now we want to press y to reboot this machine and hostname will remain same so i don't need to change the host name so now what i'll do i'll press 13 and restart the server press y it will reboot the machine so now we have set so the only thing what we need to do now <coughs> we need to go ahead and install the hyper v role so to install the hyper v role basically we need to go to powershell and then run this command which we followed around for the powershell installation uh, basically to install hyper-v role on the powershell machine so before that i want to enable the remote management so make sure our machine has by default you see remote management is enabled so this is good so i think we are all set 
just we can go ahead click on 15 and you can see powershell is now lost so now we need to install click install and then windows feature and then name of the feature we have hyper v and then include management tools and then i'll go ahead and type restart enter so it seems a, some issue so okay i got it we need to put here hyper v hyphen now it will take the installation so now you see the installation started so the, the installation is going to straightforward same what we did in powershell window so now in this video we covered how to install basically <clears throat> hyper v role on the core server now once the server is rebooted i'll try to connect this server through hyper v1 or hyper v2 to make sure the hyper v installation is done so i'll go ahead and log into hyper v1 now and uh, I'll launch Hyper V Manager, and then I'll go ahead and click on Connect Server. I'll see this is done or not working on features, so this is good. So I'll type Hyper V. Cool. So before that, I want to just make sure we are able to reach to correct computer. So I'm going to ping Hyper V. Cool. So you'll see we are. We are able to reach 103 means ns lookup is working fine we are able to go to 103 request is going to 103 this is good now let's wait for installation to finish and then we'll proceed now i'll go ahead and hit control to dell now I'll log into this machine so we are good. So now if I go here and try to basically ping it, it will not allow because uh, the ping is not allowed by default on the core server. So we'll try to connect to this uh, through Hyper-V manager. So we'll see if it's able to connect. Yes, we are able to connect. So if you see here, it has, uh, we are able to reach, and if you want to change any configuration, we will able to change the configuration also. So this is good. Now if we want to basically access this, Hyper-V code. Basically share, you, you should be able to access. So I, a ping is not allowed. If you want to configure the ping, you can go ahead and uh, configure the ping also. Do you, I think remote management. You see the third option enable server ping response. If I click three, enter successfully enabled. So now if I try to ping that server, we should be able to ping it. You see, here, now we are able to ping it. And also, we have identified we are able to create. Uh, let's say if you want to create a virtual machine, you can go ahead and create the virtual machine. You know. so this is good. So, so in this video, we covered how to basically install the Hyper-V role on the Windows Core server. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post to my Mike Gibber email address. Thank you all for Bye-bye.